<laughs> Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? I got asked recently to help somebody start an agency from scratch and I thought this would be a great idea for a video series. So today I want to start the first phase of how you can start your own creative agency from scratch. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, if you don't know me already, my name is Adrian Boisel and I am the founder of Adrian Agency, a creative agency based in Sacramento, California, but serving clients all over the country. I've been doing this now for 17 years and I started as a graphic designer that opened up a print shop that became a consultant that helped scale a company from 800 grand a year to 22 million, then moved on from that and opened up my full-blown agency in 2015 and went through the ups and downs of owning a creative agency. Even recently, I've gone through ups and downs all throughout my career and that's a natural part of being a business owner and something that you have to learn to accept. So I wanna make sure that I set expectations. The ride is a roller coaster and it's not going to be easy. If you wanna start a creative agency, you better be prepared for the roller coaster and the ride that you're gonna be on because you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna grow a lot and you're gonna to have to become your best self. And as my one of my mentors says, Raul Lopez, 90% of your business problems are personal problems. So you're gonna to have to learn how to get some of the, rid of some of these limiting beliefs to raise to the next level. The purpose of this series is to help you become a creative agency owner. You may be a freelance designer, you may be a hobbyist, you may be working for somebody and you're tired of working for somebody, you're tired of doing the freelance thing and you wanna build a team. You wanna be surrounded by other creatives. Well, having a creative agency is not just gonna allow you to have more people on your team, but it's gonna allow you to make more money, to generate more revenue because you can offer bigger and better services. I offer a lot of recurring revenue services that have kept my income growing from year after year after year. We've had to take some dips over the course of the last 10 years because of economy and different things that have happened, but we've always been able to maintain and grow as a creative agency. And so this video and this series is going to show you how to do all of that from the very first day to the seven figure mark. And I'm going to try to create as many videos as possible to keep it as simple as possible. So stay with me on this journey. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there below and throw a thumbs up and introduce yourself. If you're not familiar with what a creative agency is, that is something that's gonna be very important. A creative agency offers brand direction, brand clarity, marketing clarity, and helps do marketing plans for companies that are looking to scale their businesses, specifically on the front end. And when I say front end, I mean that's all the creative. Your websites, your flyers, your trade show displays, your logos, all of the brand stuff, your presentation decks, your webinars, your funnels, your videos, right? These are all the different things that a creative agency does. And then there's the back end that is not specifically a creative agency like follow-ups and automations and email marketing. There are some creative agencies like mine that do that, but typically you wanna focus on the front end side, the front end creative. That's gonna be your zone of genius and that's where you're gonna find the most success if you're good at building websites, doing logos, doing brands and creating those graphic design pieces for somebody. This is the area that I would tell you to focus in on and don't worry about the back end stuff because you can actually outsource that stuff and still sell it and make a lot of money. As a creative agency, I've been able to create packages rather than doing hourly rate type services. I no longer offer anything on a per project basis. Every client that we have that we bring to the table does something with us on a monthly basis, whether that's $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month. I've even had 20 and $25,000 a month clients using us for their creative services from videos to websites to funnels to landing pages and all the different things that we offer. I think a creative agency is really important in this day and age, specifically because the creativity is something that's very unique. AI can't replicate creativity the same way that your brain. A lot of the best designs and the best concepts I've ever come up with have actually happened by accident or happened through conversations and getting to know people, hearing their stories and through experiences. Creativity is fueled by experience. And if you have experience in a certain area, in a certain business, whether you want to niche down into carpet cleaning or niche into lawyers or niche into a medical field or wellness, right? You want to find a niche or find an area that you have a lot of experience in because that experience can lend to a really powerful outcome for your clients. Like I said before, there's a lot of different types of creative agencies. You have the creative agencies that do branding, creative agencies that do copywriting, you have creative agencies that build websites, ones that build funnels, ones that do social media marketing. There's a lot of different niches within the creative agency space. You wanna find your zone of genius, the thing that you think is gonna have the most demand, that's gonna make you the most money, something that you can do or delegate very easily. My agency specifically falls into a category of what we call full service agencies. Now, full service agencies are very specialized. I'm a branding agency. So I help companies develop their brand or rebrand. And then I literally do everything from front to back. 
Now, because of the backend systems I have, like leadbutler.ai, I have the ability to not just do the front end creative, but also the back end follow up automations, text message marketing, email marketing, email newsletters. I can do all that stuff. But we are a full service agency, a full service creative agency, if you will. And so there are pros and there are cons. The more services you add, the more you add to your plate, the harder it is going to be to scale. They say that creative agencies is like scaling a creative agency is scaling the unscalable. And it's really true. It's very hard to scale a creative agency and to maintain that long term because you're always having to bring in new clients. You have to keep your pipeline full and the technology is constantly changing. And for a lot of people, it's a race to the bottom with pricing. That's why I understand the types of clients that are out there and I go after a specific niche. Attorneys is one of my niches. Wellness is one of my niches. And I know that I'm looking for companies that are doing at least a million dollars a year or more that can afford to have a marketing budget that's gonna be at least a hundred grand a year. All I need is 10 clients at a hundred grand a year. And now I have a seven figure agency. I know that's a very dumbed down, very simple version of it, but that's a reality. You can generate a million dollars off of 10 clients. If they just have a hundred thousand dollar year marketing budget, they're willing to kick back to you, but they're not going to do that if you don't have a plan. And that's a really important piece of this entire puzzle. I think it's really important for you to understand the client agency relationship. Now the agency's role is creating and implementing and managing the creative strategies. So the strategies you come up with need to be based in science, not just like, Hey, I have this great idea. You actually need to have them rooted in a process. And that's why I've developed the purpose driven branding blueprint and the purpose driven marketing plan. Yes, I have creative ideas, but these creative ideas are also founded in proven marketing strategies and tactics. It's going to be a lot of work. Everything from that initial onboarding meeting to the first discovery call to your strategy call to your kickoff call to your launch. There's a lot of things that go into having a creative agency. And so I'll probably make some individual videos about each of these processes. But for now, I just want to give you a general overview. There's a lot of steps. When a client first comes into me, I do the discovery call and I get to see if they're a good fit. Once I send them a proposal and they accept, then I send them an invoice and I bring them on board. Then I do my initial discovery call after they've done their onboarding. And then I give them a kickoff call with either my CMO or my COO in my company. And they're able to discover more information based on what I've collected and get some of those, those lower kind of deeper details that maybe I didn't get because I'm focused on more of the high level vision and planning side of things. They're going into the domain names and analytics and what that client currently has. So there's a lot to that process. Then we go into the building phase, whether it's building a logo, building a website, building a funnel, writing content, doing SEO, running ads, whatever that is, we go into that phase and start to build all that stuff out. And then when that's done, we run it by the client, they give an approval, they give the thumbs up, and then we are officially able to launch those creative assets that we've built and we got to drive traffic to them next. And so as you can see, there's a lot of different creative roles within an agency. You have the CEO, which is me, right? You have the CMO, which is a chief marketing officer. You have the COO, which is a chief operating officer. You should have a chief CTO, which is a chief technology officer, All right? Then you're going to have your actual uh, assistants. You're going to have your creative directors. You're going to have your uh, marketing directors. So you're going to have a lot of different roles within your agency. And there's a lot of different places where you can learn more about these roles. If you're really at that point where you're trying to scale, and this is something that I help people with on the coaching and consulting side is help them put the right people into place because you're going to need visionaries and you're going to need integrators. And a lot of these different parts of your business, having a visionary is very key, but what you're going to need to focus on is making sure you have enough integrators on your team. Cause that's one of the mistakes that I made earlier in my career is I didn't have enough integrators. I had too many visionaries and a lot of our ideas were conflicting with each other. One of the things that I think is very important for a creative agency, when you're selling your services, is you, a lot of times people can hire an entire team, creative directors, copywriters, web designers, graphic designers, branding experts, marketing planning, CFO, CMOs, right? They can hire all these roles. And like I said, they could pay a hundred thousand dollars to have an entire team versus going and hiring an employee that you have to put on W2 and give benefits and 401ks and clocking in and clocking out and having to manage that people and all the responsibilities behind that. Hiring a creative agency and somebody hiring your agency is a huge time saver. And if you're really smart with where the things are going nowadays and you create a flat rate program 
for your graphic design services or a flat rate program for your web design services, or you just do an all-in-one unlimited graphic design, web design, video production service, you can make a lot of money and you can start at $2,000, $2,500 a month and start to ramp it up from there. And that's how I started getting five, 10, 15, 20, and $25,000 a month, depending on the workload that these companies were giving me. I helped a company called Roof Doctors. You can look them up, rebrand their entire company. They had a terrible logo. I went there and rebranded their company. I did an analysis on all their social media. I did an analysis on all their marketing strategies, all their content, all their marketing materials, their trade shows, everything. I went in and did a deep dive on their entire business, developed a business plan, a marketing plan, a brand strategy, did all this groundwork with them in a very short period of time. And then I had my team start to do SEO and paid advertising. And they were very resistant to the paid advertising side of things. But I was able to help that company go from about $3 million a year to over $7 million in just 10 months. I think it was even less than 10 months. So that just goes to show you when you start to have a clear vision and a path for what you're doing, you can make massive impact on a company that's already doing good and you can help them do great. There's a lot of challenges within owning a creative agency and those challenges are client turnover, keeping clients happy, sending them reports, building the relationship, being consistent about following up, setting meetings with them, incorporating meetings into your marketing plan so that you have more touch points so they know that there's always something actively going on, setting up automation so that every time you complete a project or you have some sort of success or win, they're hearing about it. You wanna keep that top of mind awareness and they gotta know that you're actively working on their behalf and making them money because they feel like they're just throwing money at something and they don't know what's happening and they're in the dark. You're gonna have turnover and that turnover can be detrimental. If you're losing clients faster than you're bringing them on, you're gonna have a really hard time keeping your pipeline full. So I will talk more about this in future videos, some of those challenges that I faced. I'll talk about the biggest challenges I faced in my creative agency, what I learned and how I fixed them. So I wanna make more videos about that. If this was helpful for you in any way, please drop a like, please drop a subscribe, hit the thumbs up video on there and introduce yourself. I'm so huge on community. We have our own community of creatives called the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook and on Circle. There's a link down in the description. You gotta make sure you fill out all the questions when you join us or we won't let you in. I turned down over 60% of the people and we have a really strong community right now and it's growing. We do events and networking every single week. Just a lot of really cool stuff and I would be honored to have you be a part of that. So if you have any questions, drop a comment down in the video below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Like I said, I'm traveling, I'm not at my normal place, but I wanna to try to keep up with these videos as much as possible, especially since I'm working so many hours, I'm trying to have to find new ways and adapt to what I'm doing with adding value to you guys here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. I'll see you guys on the next video, and as always, keep looking up.